tonight, we're hearing from a Las Cruces firefighter who says he witnessed the plane crash that killed 29-year-old local businessman Tyler Francis. ABC 7's Pilar Arias has new details from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. She joins us live with the very latest. Pilar. Rick and Estella Mike Lopez says he saw the plane come down nose first. Today I learned the aircraft Francis was flying was a Vans RV3. They start as frames that are then customized by owners. The crash light map shows just how close Francis was to the airport terminal at the time of the crash. A hole in the ground. Now the only sign left of Monday's single engine plane crash that killed businessman Tyler Francis. The 29-year-old died on impact just yards from the Las Cruces airport terminal. Las Cruces firefighter Mike Lopez says he saw the whole thing. I saw the departure of the plane uh, at an odd angle um, and lost sight of it for approximately 30 seconds. Um, I started to hear a motor that was... Uh, Doniana County International Jetport Airport Manager Bill Province knew Francis and worked with him closely over the past couple years where Francis Aviation is based out of. I was told Francis had aspirations to see this Santa Teresa airport grow and he was hoping to be able to do that with the help of the new industrial park nearby. I had actually never seen the airplane before. Um, he had just recently purchased it as what I understand uh, or done some research on the RV3 on the internet. That's what federal investigators are reviewing now that they've finished collecting evidence at the Las Cruces airport. I did some digging of my own and ABC7 learned the plane Francis was in started off as a kit purchased from Vans Aircraft in Oregon. President Scott Risen says it's up to the owner to customize the engine and components, essentially building their own plane. Since its introduction in 1973, the planes are known to have strong safety records, as did Francis, a veteran in the skies. Losing him and his uh, uh, youthful ambition is, and wisdom is um, going to be tough to replace. Vance President Risen told me in an email today, quote, all fixed wing aircraft, including the RV-3, are designed to glide without power. They do it every time they come into land. In fact, the RV-3 glides very well without the engine running and has a glide ratio of approximately 8 to 1. That means that if you're at an altitude of 5,000 feet above the ground, approximately one mile up, and shut the engine off, the aircraft has the ability to glide 8 miles and land normally with no power whatsoever. Keep in mind now that even though federal investigators are looking into the crash, we may not know what caused it for several months, up to a year. Back to you. Okay, Pilar, thank you for the latest on this. He's